In this video, we're going to talk about the tone type harmonic box X. Now, the harmonic box X is the most advanced of the tone types, and it has a certain structure to it that is a stacked monaural beats across two channels, and I'll show you the structure of those, but I've just inserted one using the tools under Content Tones Harmonic Box X. And Mine Workstation fortunately calculates this for you automatically. Let's just take a listen to it. So as mentioned, the Harmonic Box X has a very particular structure to it. Now I have program this binaural beat calculator that I'll make available for members and it will help you to see the structure to learn the structure. Let's do it at 180 to match that which is available in my workstation and we'll also choose split frequency. We'll calculate that. So this is the harmonic box area and I've also program some variations of harmonic box that I call harmonic box Y and harmonic box C, which I'll go into more detail about at a later time. But we see the structure here. Now keep in mind that the bass pitch is 180 hertz. So in the left channel, when we offset that as our frequency, 10 hertz, to get a split frequency across the channels, and we're going to add 5 hertz to the left channel and we're going to subtract 5 hertz from the bass pitch for the right channel. Then for the left channel, the second tone here, they are 3 times the frequency apart, right? So you take this top frequency, you multiply the entrainment frequency times 3 to get 30 and you subtract it from that tone that is primary in the top channel. So you have a spread of 30 hertz here which is demonstrated on this side. This shows you the whole structure. So in A plus B here we're getting our 10 hertz binaural. C plus D we have a 10 hertz binaural beat. The monaural beat, A plus C, is 30 hertz, so it's three times the entrainment frequency. Now B and D is a monaural beat of 10 hertz. And then the cross channels, A and D, and C and B, are each 20 hertz, which is two times the entrainment frequency. So that's the normal structure of the harmonic box X. As you can see, rather complex in the generation of it, but Mind Workstation does it automatically. And so we don't have to be cons too concerned about that. We can chain it to the um, entrainment frequency and we could set any entrainment frequency that we want and it would follow along. which is super nice. So my workstation makes that rather easy and we can set the pitch as well. Now let's take a look at the harmonic box in our spectral analyzer like we did in other videos for the binaural beats and monaural beats. Alright, so let's just go ahead and set this back to default before we looked at this spectral analyzer. So I'm going to start playing now. And then we're going to the spectral analyzer, which you can see that the harmonic box X signal is really interesting to look at. Um, this is the channel. The green channel is the one with the 30 hertz separation. And so we can measure that and see that it's around 150. Of course, it, we, we know for a fact what it is. And this one around 190. So we could see the structure of it and how that the waveforms are different across each one. But I think that's pretty interesting to look at. As I said, harmonic box X, 
and I'm I'll go ahead and stop now. The harmonic box X is complex, but we don't have to worry about it because my workstation does the calculation for us. So let's double click on this again. Same thing is available from tone options, and you can see that the tone separation type is harmonic box X. Now, if we choose to invert the right and left sides, then those that 30 hertz tone would switch to the other side so we're able to do that in this dialog box here so just a quick review that binaural beats binaural beats harmonic box x are a tone separation type but they're all tone tracks and if you were to set none you would just have a tone track so we'll actually loop back a little bit in another video and look at that because you could easily convert one to the other so that's harmonic box x and it's a intricate and potentially powerful entrainment tone spread type that you may want to incorporate into your sessions if nothing else just because you can just to test just to see how well it works for you